Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faiz Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this video of UCCE Deployment 11.5, I'm going to show you how to install and prepare Microsoft SQL Server 2014. So, right now I am on my Rogers uh, Roger uh, A database server I have make sure that I don't uh, join into this particular server as a domain so if you want to verify that you can go to command line type who am I in one word and you will see that you are voice bootcamp backslash administrator should you decide to use any other user account from domain feel free to ensure that you have the necessary privileges now I'm going to start uh, with the Microsoft SQL Server installation which is available in my DVD drive and go ahead and click on setup so as you can see installation server comes up we click on installation select on let me close this window new server installation now you must install the Microsoft SQL server very carefully because there is sort of a few item that needs to be uh, check properly in order to ensure that you have uh, SQL Server uh, installed properly for the ECC. So I'm going to go and try to find out my CD key. Just give me a sec. Okay, so I'm going to enter the serial number. Let's see, take that P7 FRB Y6 x six y y eight c six q t b four q r d m t t k all right so go ahead and accept the terms i don't want to send any information to microsoft Click next. It's going to do a quick check to make sure there is nothing, uh, any problem. So go ahead and click next. Server could not search. Okay. I don't care. I'm not, obviously, I don't have internet access enabled on these servers. Okay, so it says feature installation or all feature with default. So I would like to go ahead, select uh, feature. Obviously, I will select the SQL Server. Analysis. I don't need the reporting service. I don't need any of the shared. Probably, I would need uh, management tools. Yeah, I think that should be good enough. I'll just anything with client. I will just select them But reporting stuff unless you're going to do a lot of reporting I will not select them for now. All right click next Okay, so it's dot service is required. So we may need to download the dot service uh, dot Microsoft 3.5 service pack is required. So let's see if this is going to work. So we're gonna say uh, dashboard go to add role role base Okay, so there is 3.5. So let's see if that installation will work. If not, then we'll have to download it from internet and then reinstall it.
as you can see the installation is in progress it's probably you uh, need to download uh, from the internet so make sure that you may need, uh, you have an internet connection ready all right so the feature installation has been successful i will go back and try to rerun the setup and as you can see this time i was able to successfully move to the next screen so this is very important do not under any circumstance to change this name right here just keep a default instance if you do the title change your installation may not uh, succeed in terms of ucc installation so we'll go ahead and move to the next step Uh, this part I'll leave it as it is for everybody all the same username password but collotation is very important this is extremely important if you fail to uh, if you fail to change this properly you're gonna have to reinstall SQL Server from ground zero again there is no way to fix this so this is why it's very important that you uh, make sure that you choose the right one so what we're gonna do with we're gonna set database engine we're going to change it to Windows. Scroll down, call Latin General, Latin General, right there. I'm going to check binary. This is extremely important for UCCE only, or at least for UCCE. Alrighty, click OK. Same thing here, Latin in general, binary, and we're going to continue with next. Now, this is important, use mixed mode and choose a password. And I'm also going to say add current user. So that is going to add the voice bootcamp slash administrator account. This way I will have both accounts and I can add more users if you want to. Do not keep it Windows authentication. Continue. Already. Uh, says password do not match. Okay. Now for server configurations, I will use the current user as well. Again, you can always add more user accounts later as well. Okay, so now you're ready to install. And this is the procedure for installing SQL Server on ECC component. So I'll let it run. Okay, so the SQL Server installation has been successful. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to log into SQL and make some changes. So you can go to apps, right there, SQL Server. We're going to go to configuration manager. So in the configuration manager, what we want to do is change the protocol and make sure client protocol name pipe is set to order number two and TCP is the third one. We'll do the same thing for the server. In the server, we're gonna make sure name pipe is enabled. And then we're gonna to go to the client again, change it to the order. Oops, not disable, enable, and should be number two. All right, so once this part is done, we are ready to restart SQL Server. And that's pretty much all the customization that we need to do. So this is the preparation that you need to do and the next step is to start installing UCCE.